happy Sunday. It is February 18th. It is 7.30 in the morning. So I just woke up about an hour ago, took a shower, because I wasn't feeling that great this morning, but took a shower and actually, you know, did my makeup, blow dried my hair, straightened my hair, all that stuff. And now, as you can tell, I'm back in bed with this one. She's gonna make herself comfortable, huh? I am going to take it a little bit easier today. I feel like I've been relaxing and I've still been doing stuff, but I've been going at more of, I don't want to say a glacial pace. I feel like that's from the Devil Wears Prada, but <laughs> um, I have been moving more at just a glacial pace and just not rushing myself. Like there's still a sense of urgency to get things done, but I'm not putting myself in a state of frenzy or a state of panic. And I don't know if it's coming across on the camera or not, but I am just very calm, very calm. And I don't, I'm not going to stress about deadlines because the deadlines are ones I've put on myself. I've imposed them on myself in my life. And so if they need to change, they can change. I'm going to do my best to meet the deadlines that I've put on myself and the work and the projects I wanna do, but things can always be changed and change is the only constant. So I actually don't have much on the agenda for today. I do have some emails I want to answer. Of course, I want to write and I wanna read, but it's more just I want to relax and just kind of channel my natural state of flow and just go with what I wanna do instead of being so attached to a to-do list and then the outcomes from that to-do list. So today's just gonna be a very go with the flow kind of day and maybe in an hour or two or this afternoon or this evening, I'll have kind of that spark of inspiration where I'll sit down and just bang out a whole bunch of stuff. But right now I'm just enjoying relaxing and really enjoying the process and being present in the moment. And I think it's something a lot of us forget because we're just so go, go, go and looking to the next thing but if you can focus on the journey and focus on your present moment and focus on the action whatever it is you're doing instead of the outcome i don't know i just feel like you're happier and you're more relaxed and you're not stressed out and you're just calm calm is good i think you would agree with that statement you are always calm All right, so I just finished editing my video that is going up on February 26th. So excited for it because I will be revealing the cover for Renegade Crew, which is Shadow Crown Book Two. So it's a long video, it's a 20 minute video. So I'm exporting that and then I will upload it to YouTube. Okay, so I have discovered a couple of really neat things that are saving me a lot of money. I figured out that Starbucks green tea is actually the Tazo Zen tea, and this has lemongrass and spearmint in it, and the caffeine level is a three out of five stars, if you wanna put it that way, or a three out of five rating. Because a box of that at Kroger, I wanna say it was $6, and I get 20 tea bags. And I think when I go to Starbucks, if I get a venti, I spend like 250 per drink, so I mean, that saves money, which is pretty cool. And it's something I've been obsessed with, which if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that I'm in love with acai bowls. So I buy these Samba, Sambazon acai um, packets that are in the frozen fruit section, probably at your grocery store. And it comes with four bags of frozen acai berries. So I will be making that as a little pick me up in the middle of the afternoon. But I want something more natural instead of artificially sweet. So I've been turning to acai bowls with this really amazing, I'm just gonna show you like everything I bought, even though I'll make it a little bit later. It's called Kia, I think, Superfood. It's chia, buckwheat, and hemp cereal. So it's kind of like all these little grains and seeds. So I'll sprinkle that on top of my acai bowl. And then I will also cut up strawberries or you know put some raspberries and bananas too bananas are so so good on the acai bowl so as you can see here i have been keeping my starbucks cups this is just a grande cup so that way it feels like i'm having starbucks because technically it is i just didn't actually have to drive there to go get it and it looks like my video has finished exporting so i'm going to go ahead and upload this to youtube
So I had posted a picture on Instagram and also to my Insta stories and Snapchat about my brand new vision board for 2018. Please ignore the dryer, it's making a lot of noise in the background. <laughs> But this is my new vision board for 2018. I'll go ahead and insert on this same clip my vision board for 2017. This was cut off so it doesn't show all of the images that I put on here. But a lot of people ask me how I make these and I just get images off of Pinterest or Google and then I go on to PicMonkey. You can also go on to Canva and then set the size for a wallpaper. If I can remember, I'll leave it on the screen what size I used for this specific wallpaper because now it's the background for my computer. But I also put a quote in the middle always that's kind of like the theme or just what I really wanna focus on for the whole year. This year it's don't trade your authenticity for approval. So that just reminds me to always be authentic, to always be genuine, to always be who I am, and to never ever trade that for approval from other people. And then I still have that vision board up there that I haven't really made any progress on. I wanted to do my digital one first so that way it would be on the background of my computer since my computer is where I do most of my work and what I see every single day and then also print it out so it can go in this front entryway or walkway. And eventually I am going to change out of this row, but it's only 10 o'clock and it's Sunday. So even if I don't change out of it, it's Sunday and I feel like it's okay. But I wanted to show you guys some books that I ordered off of Amazon. They're all fiction books, so I don't have a nonfiction book haul for you guys today. But I do have a few books that I'm really excited about. So let me show you what they are. So the first book, no surprise, is Twisted Fate by Jesse Elliott. This was just released on February 13th of this year. I'm just so excited to have a copy of this book. I cannot wait to dive into it. Again, I love supporting indie authors. And if you don't know who Jesse Elliott is, she is seriously such a gem. Make sure you check out her YouTube channel. I will leave her linked in the description box below. But this is definitely going really high up on my priority reads list. I feel like I keep shifting everything around. I'm still reading When Stars Burn Out by lovely indie author Anna Vera and absolutely loving that book so far. So I can't wait to dive into another indie book. And then I also found this book on Amazon called The Awakening of Ren Crown by Anne Zoell. And let's just take a moment to look at this cover. Ah, I don't even have any words. This is a beautiful cover and I feel like it kind of reminds me a little bit of my restitution cover. Let me grab it. Like, that's pretty cool. Just, I think it's the circle and all of this stuff that's happening with the circle. Obviously this series is science fiction dystopian. This is more magical fantasy type book. And I can't even remember how I found this. I think Amazon just said, you would like this book or here's a recommended read based on all the books that you bought because I buy <laughs> science fiction, fantasy, and now quite a few romance books. So I cannot wait to read this. I think this was also an indie published book, but do not quote me on that. And I actually am not sure who the author is. I, I think actually this is a pen name. So I am very curious to learn more. Let me see. Yeah, I don't see the name of a publishing company here. So I do think that this is another indie book. And then the last book I picked up on Amazon is Eveline's Number by Bethany. And I, I feel like I'm gonna say her name wrong. Adizeda, Adizeda. I'm probably totally saying that wrong, totally butchering it. But I'm really excited for this book. I started following Bethany on Instagram recently and she also does have a YouTube channel, another indie author. So again, because I am an indie author, I really wanna take the time to point out other indie authors who have also you know, self-published their books because again, it's just all about promotion and community and this book sounds so interesting. I cannot wait to dive into this. So again, I will make sure to leave both Jesse and Bethany's YouTube channels in the description box below in case you want to go check them out. And yeah, go support. Go support indie authors. Gotta throw mine in there, you know? <laughs> also, there have been quite a few of you who have asked if I will still be doing indie author spotlights because I know that's something that I mentioned last year and I do still have plans to do it. The problem is that I'm not like a book reviewer and I don't want my channel to be like a book reviewing channel. That's just not really what I'm all about. I like to read books. I like to give my opinion on good reads, but I don't go into whole plot synopses and stuff like that. I love watching videos of people who do book reviews, but it's just not something I ever really wanted to do for myself. It's not really me and it's not something I really wanted to do on my channel. So I'm trying to figure out a way to do indie author spotlights 
without having to do a book review. So it may be something where I will reach out to these indie authors and see if we can kind of Google FaceTime or Google Hangout, whatever it is, and I can film it and kind of do more of an interview or just a chat about the books. If you think that would be fun or if you think it's a good idea, something that you would wanna watch, you know, where you're watching an author interview or me interviewing another indie author, please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below. I'm just trying to figure out, I really wanna promote and put the spotlight on indie authors, but I wanna find kind of a unique interesting different way to do it so if you guys have ideas let me know that's the other thing i want to mention is i am revealing the cover and the release date for the second book in the shadow crown series renegade crew so i am revealing that on monday february 26th in my video but if you want to get a sneak peek i am sending out my newsletter with a sneak peek like a first look of the cover as well as the release date for that book on saturday what is Saturday? So that newsletter will be going out on this Saturday, February 24th. So if you want to first look at what that cover looks like and to know when it's coming out, make sure to go to my website at kristenmartinbooks.com and sign up for my newsletter. There will be a pop-up box. You just enter your email address. If for some reason the pop-up box isn't there, you can scroll all the way down where it says subscribe into your email. And that way the newsletter will be on its way to your inbox on Saturday. Okay, so I just finished taking Denali for a walk. I ended up changing, threw my hair up in the half up, half down because it's humid outside and it's windy. It's so windy and my bangs are like, <sighs> so kind of frustrating because I took the time to actually blow it out and everything this morning, but you know what? It is what it is. But it's actually kind of nice not having, you know, not having hair in my face. Please ignore the loud sounds in the background. I've got the dishwasher going. So I've just got, I feel like between the dryer and the dishwasher, there's just a lot of, a lot of stuff that I need to get done. But I'm hungry after taking Denali for her walk. So I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and make an acai bowl because it sounds really good. I'm really in the mood to read and also to write and to brainstorm for the Shadow Crown series. Cause I've had a lot of ideas coming to me and I just kind of want to flesh some of those out a little bit more so that again we're just going with the flow and we're gonna see where this day takes us i have a feeling it's going to be full of books notebooks and pens <laughs> Like I said, this has become a staple in my house. <laughs> it's something that I crave. It's so good for you. You guys probably saw me juicing my own apple. It's because I try to do everything as natural as possible. And I am slowly transitioning over to a vegan lifestyle where I'm really focusing on plant-based foods. And not only am I noticing an impact on my mind and my body, but also just how I feel. I feel so much more energized and awake and refreshed and motivated. So I'm really enjoying kind of switching over to a plant-based diet, but that is why you saw me juicing an apple instead of using apple juice. You can go to the store and buy apple juice, but I wanted to have fresh apple juice that did not have any other sweeteners or sugars in it. So that way this acai bowl is truly just a pure fruit, nut, grain bowl. So if you're wondering what it tastes like, I don't really know how to explain it. The acai, it's a berry. So it's not a super sweet berry, but it's sweet enough to where it's like a fruity kind of dessert, but also sort of like a yogurt, but it's not creamy. So kind of difficult to explain what it tastes like. All I can tell you is that if you like fruit, then you will probably love this because it's really good. Personally, I like the way the raspberries and the bananas taste. I tried it with strawberries and I do like it, but for some reason that banana and raspberries to me taste the best with the acai. So I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna answer a couple of emails. Then depending on how I'm feeling, I'm either going to write and kind of do my brainstorming and get all my notebooks out. Or if I feel like taking a little bit of a break, then I'll probably read and then come back into my office. So 
sometimes I do this thing where I sit on the dog bed that sits in front of the fireplace and I just sit here. She's mad that I'm that I'm taking her space. <laughs> but I just got really cold all of a sudden. So I decided to go ahead and put my jacket on and light a fire, sit by the fire. So I'm just sitting here with my day planner, just kind of going through everything for this week and just kind of reviewing how the week was and then looking into next week to see what we've got planned. And guys, it is, it's just gonna be a really busy week. And like I said, I'm just not feeling, just not feeling 100%. So I'm hoping that when I wake up tomorrow, I'll be feeling better and more motivated. Just kind of in one of those modes where I want to just kind of hermit up and not be social and not talk to anyone and just kind of, I don't know, work on my stuff. I wanna write, I want to read. I just want to curl up and be cozy and comfortable and just kind of, I don't know, take a little bit more of a breather. So that's kind of just how I'm feeling. Is anyone else feeling like that? Maybe it's kind of this end of February, beginning of March time frame. January, I was so balls to the wall with my productivity and my goals and the things I wanted to get done. I'm so proud of myself because I, I had time off over the Christmas holiday, but then January, I just went so hard so fast and I worry that maybe I used up so much energy in January that now in February, it's really starting to taper off where I'm sitting here thinking to myself, like I could use like a whole month off. I could use just, I mean, I say that, that's probably over exaggerating, but at this point I really could use one full week, if not two, at least one full week to just relax and do the things that I wanna do. <sighs> so that's where I'm at right now. I'm gonna continue working on this and then I may read a little bit more, but I am starting to feel I'm starting to feel creative. I just wanna be creative in a comfortable setting. So I don't feel like sitting at my desk. So I'll probably just end up sitting on the couch, bringing my laptop and my notebooks with me and writing my story. if you can hear that outside but it is full on raining right now which I'm okay with it's getting dark I've got all the lights on <laughs> in the house but as you guys just saw I was really going through my outline for book one of Shadow Crown and my outline for book two I had my map all printed up for the lands of Eridon which is the fantasy world I created for Shadow Crown I was really just going through, I guess, all the pieces and act one, act two, act three, and really just making sure, again, that everything fit together. And then I was also thinking about book three because since book two is currently in the beta reader process and I'm getting feedback, as I'm getting that feedback from my beta readers, I'm having more ideas for book three and book four and how to continue on with the series and what direction I want to take it. The direction really hasn't changed from when I first mapped it out, but there are a couple of things that are different or I thought something would happen with one character and now it's going to be a different character. So it's really neat to kind of see your story evolve and grow. And that's one thing I get asked a lot about my outlines is if they stay the same or if they're more fluid. And they're definitely fluid. I think as you learn more about your characters and your story, things just evolve. It's just a natural progression. And so there are gonna be certain things that change in your story, in your outline, in order to sort of create the story that you were always meant to write. So don't fret if your outline is changing and your story ideas are changing. That's a good thing. That means that you are just getting more clarity with your story and that you're having bigger and better ideas coming to you. And you just got to find ways to work them into your stories. So I really love brainstorming and kind of outlining my books. It's a really fun process for me. Of course, I enjoy the actual writing part of my books, but the brainstorming and the outlining and the the fitting the puzzle pieces together is something I really have 
a lot of fun with. And I've said this before, but I never seem to run out of ideas. So it is a blessing and a curse at times because I sit there and think to myself, how am I gonna fit all of this in? So I do the best that I can. We are heading into eight o'clock territory now and I'm tired. I feel like it was a good day. It was nice just sort of going with the flow of things and not really forcing things, not being so, I don't know, so keen to work on my to-do list and really sticking to that. Sometimes it's nice to just set that aside and again, go with the flow, go with what feels natural, go with what you want to do. I feel like that's what weekends are for. Monday through Friday, I'm fine having my to-do list and sticking to it. But for Saturday and Sundays, I like those to be a little bit more free flowing. I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up to support my channel. Don't forget to go to my website at kristenmartinbooks.com and sign up for my newsletter because this Saturday I will be sending out my monthly newsletter and it is going to have the cover reveal as well as the release date for Renegade Crew. I will be announcing that as well in my Monday, February 26th video, but if you want a first look and a sneak peek at it before anyone else sees it, then make sure you sign up for my newsletter. Okay, that is all that I have for you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day, evening, wherever you're at in the world, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.